I try to be pretty stand-up, but sometimes I just got to take a seat. Lame dad joke, I absolutely know it. But what do you do if you are really into gaming and sitting at a desk for a long period of time and you just need to go ahead and be able to sit down, relax, and comfort? Well, the team over at Ewin Racing have sent us one of their new gaming chairs. And what I like about it for someone who, I mean, I'm not super fat, but I ain't skinny either. My legs tend to be a little bit wide, so on some gaming chairs, it tends to flare up around the sides. This does not do that. It's more of a flat base, should be more comfortable for me to sit in. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of leather. This is a cloth-based seat. So let's go ahead, let's put it together, see what it takes, and see how comfortable it is. Opening up the box here, I mean, pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, it's it's a gaming chair, really. So let's take a look at everything that came in the box. And it was really nicely packed. So we have the base itself. Everything bubble wrapped very nicely. Here is the back of the chair. The kind of gas pneumatic thing. The upper lumbar and lower lumbar support. We have the base of the chair itself, and that is it. So inside where like the adjustment and everything is, that's where your tools are going to be, your instruction manual, there's your casters, the bolts, you get a set of white gloves, some plastic covers and whatnot that we're all going to dive into here in a moment. So what I thought originally was just like a product catalog, that's actually the instruction manual too. Now the lower lumbar does not attach to the back of the seat, it just sits there. The top headrest, however, has this elastic strap. You do need to undo the four bolts on the side of the back of the seat itself. And you can see it is the screw, a split washer, and a regular washer. Grab the bottom of the chair, slide the back into place, getting the holes aligned so we can attach the two bolts on each side. Now it does include Allen wrenches to help you go ahead and get this assembled. Now, I don't tighten these down completely until I have all four bolts in place, both for the left and the right hand side. It just makes it easier to align everything. Don't crank these down too tight either. You just don't need to go gorilla on these. Once you get the four bolts tightened down, there are these two plastic covers, one for the left and one for the right hand side. The right hand side is a little bit taller to accommodate the release lever to uh, recline this chair. It's held in place by a single screw and it has this cap on each of these to help it protect the screw and kind of maintain the overall look, fit and finish of the chair itself. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach the bottom of the chair. There's four screws are automatically installed from the factory. You back those out and then you go ahead and put the base of the chair on. Now I use the side of my foot here to raise it up to get everything to the right height. The weird thing that it didn't really show well on this is the opening where you attach the gas rod goes towards the back. The adjustment knob for the tilt and angle and everything goes towards the front. As you tighten these screws down, do so in a star pattern to make sure everything is kind of straight and aligned.
Now we're ready to put on the hubless caster wheels. And these things are really, really cool. First things first, got to take off all the bubble wrap from here. And once that's off, it's just a pressure fit to put these wheels into place. The one thing I did notice was that these wheels are a bit stiff to rotate initially, but as I kind of slid around on my floor protector, they freed up and they felt great. Another thing too, the base here, this kind of star pattern, it's all metal. This is really well constructed. Place the pneumatic uh, gas chamber in the middle here. Go ahead and drop down the plastic cover, and then we're going to go ahead and just set the seat onto the platform. Let's go ahead, let's see how this feels. So everything is together now, and uh, what do I think? Well, first and foremost, a little bit too tall for me, so that's nice. One of the few times I've ever had to worry about that. The instructions were a little bit weird. We're gonna actually come down a little bit, give me a little bit more space here. Um, so assembly steps go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. Um, very non-conventional way of having an instruction manual laid out. Um, I do have the lower lumbar pillow off of the chair right now just because the way it is it doesn't attach uh like on some of their other chairs uh where they have holes for the elastic straps and everything this doesn't have that quite honestly i don't need it uh, i like the way this is supporting my lower back very comfortable and i have to say as far as the base of the chair itself this thing is awesome i mean i've talked in the past how some of the other chairs kind of pinch me here in the thighs where they they kind of come up and I say bite, but bite's not the right word. Um, but they kind of dig into the side of my thighs a little bit. I like this pebble design is what they call it a lot. Um, you do have adjustable like armrests here that you can go ahead and move them forward or back. You can also go ahead, raise and lower. Um, and then again, twist in and out. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, you can go ahead. I'm going to take this, turn you sideways. You do have a lever right here to go ahead and recline. Um, Duh. There we go. I don't know that I would go much further back than this. I feel like I would fall even now. It's like, whoa, I'm going way far back. Um, we're going to bring this back up, though. Um, I'm, I'm liking the material. It is firm enough to provide me support, but not so firm. Like, after a while when sitting in, like, my chair that I have at my office kind of a hard not not a whole lot of material there in the seat and after a while i feel like the back of my legs uh the, the front of the chair digs into that this does not have that uh, you can also go ahead and it does have a little bit of a, a rocking you can adjust the tensioner down below to go ahead and tweak that i love the fact that it's cloth i'm not a huge fan of leather seats um the instructions could use a little bit of improvement the other thing that they've done here, too, as I grab it, is this is kind of an, a, a generic uh, assembly manual for you based on, like, their whole lineup of chairs. I'd like to see one specifically for this series. I think this is the Champion Series is what this one is called. Um, it's fairly universal, but, like, the, the base underneath is designed a little bit differently. Uh, very smooth, you know, pivoting side by side there. I do like the wheel design, too, that kind of Castro's sort of design. Or it's not casters, but where it's like it's the wheel is supported um, by a larger bearing. It, it just it's a neat overall setup on here. Um, it feels like a quality chair. I will tell you that much. Um, you know the the head pillow here. You know I can see if I'm sitting back, and you know quite honestly I'll probably be. Wow, that's a little bit loud. But so if I'm sitting and I'm playing a game like this, actually let's just do this. I'll grab. You know, a pro controller from something like this, this is actually really, really comfortable right here. I mean, I know I'm kind of looking up this way. Um, this is probably a little bit more accurate, but man, this is comfortable. This is really, really nice. I'm digging this. Um, now, they do have these available 
in a number of different colors, a number of different styles. If you do like that leather, uh, that is an option for you too. Um, I'm just not that big of a, a leather fan. Um, I don't feel like I'm being swallowed by this. I feel like I have plenty of room where like if my youngest comes and wants to sit on my lap, I can do that. I can sit like this and not have the chair dig into the side of my thighs. I am I am absolutely digging that 100%. Quality materials feels really, really good. And if you are a taller person as well, like I've never had to lower a chair because my feet were barely touching the ground. This is the first time I've had to do that, which is kind of neat. Um, I do want to thank Ewin Racing for sending us one of these to check out. You're going to see me in this a whole lot. This is going to be my gaming chair down here in the game room, in the office of choice. It is replacing uh, my existing one, which the biggest issue I have with that, this directly addresses. A, it's leather. I don't like leather. This is cloth. And the way that the seats dug into my legs. Now, what would I like to see improved? More colors would be great. There was like a dark gray and a light gray, and that was about it. Um, above and beyond that, I'd like to see them refine the instruction manuals specific to the model chair you are receiving. Um, and above and beyond that, I've seen some chairs that do offer like a um, a rumble or a massage type cushion for the lower lumbar support. For me, I don't need, again, I don't need this. This is actually fitting my lower back really, really well. I'm, I'm actually liking this a lot. Um, and I do have some back problems. It sucks getting old, everyone. Uh, but overall, these are my opinions. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Have you ever used a gaming chair? Have you ever wanted a gaming chair? Have you ever heard of Ewin Racing? They're pretty much like one of the best known gaming chair manufacturers out there. And again, super thanks to them for checking out our channel and sending us one of these to check out as well. Now, if you want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below and a limited use promo code where you can go ahead and save up to 20% off an Ewin racing chair for yourself. They also have some really cool desks that we will be adding to our repertoire in the future as well. I know it's one of those things, I need more desk space for my photo work and my monitors and everything. So that will definitely help me uh, in the future. Now, if you do wanna check out some of the other videos that we've done with other reviews, how to's and whatnot, I will have those linked for you in the upper right hand corner where you can check out right now.